flying bastards finally in there. All right, we got our demo SLN lamp with its own little starter, which I discovered later. And trying it out here, it's used with an electronic ballast, it's not starting. which will not work. Uh, at that time, I had no clue why, because when these lamps were made, there were no electronics ballast with a built-in igniter. So. In a different video, I um, use a fluorescent tube ballast, 40 watt. You're gonna see in that if that works or not, or it explodes. Maybe no drama. Clicking noise in here. There's a little thing on the bottom of it. What? Do, the, do these things exist with a self-igniter? I need to translate this Russian text. Because, you know, I guess it's from a neighboring country. <laughs> I'm just kidding. These lamps have to come from... have to be made in Russia or something. Philips Sovereign I don't know why it's not starting. Maybe these are, uh, there's something in here that's not normal, like a little fluorescent light tube starter bulb is in the bottom here. It's not starting it up. Okay, let's put, let's put the plug back on. Huh? It makes a clicking noise, but I don't know why. I'm trying to get the lamp. I don't know if it's a holder that's being weird. I guess the screws are a bit funky. Let's try the Swedish lamp. This one's working. Am I being freaking duped? Yeah, you see that? Any other SON enthusiast, maybe you know what's going on. I can hear the start sequences doing bzz, 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 to start it up, you know, those high voltage noises. And then when it's actually glowing, it stops making a buzzing noise because the higher volt is no longer needed. Yeah, weird. Let's turn off the shop lamp. Very nice glow. Now I'm really getting orange. I'm oh, getting hungry. It's like 10 o'clock or something. Quarter over nine. There we go, that's the battery gone. Oh, look, it's very nice. Oh, the color's beautiful on this handy cam. It's a little sunny, so what do you expect? Lighting up the whole shop now. I 
I gotta leave it running for a long time. This time the ceramic tube, the ceramic holder is in there. The official, the official street lamps also have ceramic holders. That means plastic is not capable to handle the heat of these. Nice, it looks almost exactly like the 1950s Philips street lamp. In America, a couple of them still hang around. Alright, the next video will be uh, a pole raising. I'm gonna prep and make a pole. I have nice little outhangers. They're not wood, they look like wood. I use these on the pole. They have a little angle so they can shine a bit forward. And uh, for that one, I need to round off the edges so it clamps on there. It's like a full, it's like composite almost. It's like plastic with fiberglass. Found it in the yard when I moved in this, uh, in this house. So it's a nice hanger for the Philips one. I got a massive bolt that goes all the way to here. Now oh, that should be nice and strong compared to my old ones. already preps is a hole in there for it already so yeah nice little hanger and uh, the pole is uh, yeah four by four inch I guess yeah pole size are in inches in Holland for some reason which is also millimeters sometimes I'm guessing it was 16 by 6 no 16 by 60 centimeters, I think it was. Anywho, nice little warm. That's a nice toast. No, not toasty, it's like an halogen. This is pretty low warmth compared to halogen. Because only 50 watts, you know, there's this even 100 and like a 500, 1000. Yeah, sports fuels use the thousand one. And those housings are freaking decent quality. I hope they end the marketplace when they get discontinued. Anyways, let's get a look of the outside lamps again. Not oh, stuck in that wrong screw. screw again. Uh, I can see free goal. Yeah, the keyhole is no lamp, only on the front is light, so... In the winter it's dark every single day for me, so... Uh, maybe one in the corner, post. Maybe one next to the tree here. And maybe one on the end of the yard. It's a little roundabout here, around two trees. So I go around with uh, small vehicles. Oh wait, the shutter speed is still. Freaking ice cube better to be down there. Alright, I'm gonna buy these lamps before other people buy them. There's 13 in stock by the web shops. It's only a, only like a 10, 10 euro a pop or something. I better buy them before they get extremely expensive and impossible to get. Because these lamps were discontinued five years ago. So I need to gobble up 
before they're gone. And then we have a good time. Cheers. Alright, this is a couple days later. An SON lamp, lamp with its own start, you can barely see it, it's like a little tube sideways. And uh, a fluorescent tube bell is 40 watts, this is 50, so it's driving 10 watts on there. But I, I got these of yeah, low price because um, it was a demo lamp and there was four of them for a really cheap, so can I'll pass that up. Got a little test setup over here. I can check if the phase is on the right side, so the ballast is on the phase. And I'll you get a similar lamp like this. It has like uh, blue blinks on the bottom. You cannot use electronic ballast with its own igniter in built in. You have to use an e ballast without igniter, so this thing can start. Or uh, an SON uh, ballast, or VSO we call it now. And uh, that should work. So yeah. This is from a fluorescent long one. This T12 used to be in there in the 1980s. True, so this should be. Ooh, I like them colors. So yeah. This one has its own little starter. I don't know how they call these lamps. Um, it's just it's just called SON. Yeah, nothing got PT on there. That means maybe something. I don't know if you know what that means. Put in the comments maybe. Is an SON 50 220. I can only run this for a short while because. Yeah, this is this combination is meant for each other. But it's not blinking anymore. It's, it's running fine. So, 60 hertz line voltage line frequency. Or is it? No, it's 50 hertz here in the land. Uh, of course, don't run it when the bulb is broken. You can run them when the flash is broken, but it's not recommended. If I stay over here, there's no flickering, so... Yeah. This is just a test, because I'm using this for SOX, like this Philips uh, SRS was meant to be for a decent price. The awesome unit, was awesome condition, just needed some scrubbing. Uh, I like how soft this thing is, it's, like, it's really lovely. Let's try it with the lens closed. The lamp will never break because it's underdriven. This looks pretty cool. I'm trying to aim it so there's no flicker. There we go, maybe so. I hate to flicker myself, so I try to avoid it. The camcorder eliminates it, but. The phone camera doesn't. It's like minus five degrees Celsius, so. Got a good old frick trolley stove. Oh, it feels nice. Yeah, this thing is kicking out some BTUs, man. This little thing is like 16,000 BTUs. It's really compact. It's only up to my leg or so, up to my knee or something. The little tank lasts you a week almost. I mean, if, if you have a cold workshop, and you're looking for cheap heat, even though even though 20 liters is like 50 euros, but it's gonna last you a year, so, mm, multiple years if you don't that much in the workshop. I mean, oh yeah, now it's full brightness, I think. Well, not full brightness; it's limited to 40 watts. So when I receive the the ballast is meant for this thing. It's very full power because they need that they need to be right on their on their wattage so they don't have like black build up too quickly because they on that's because the temperature is too low. Ah the lens is so pretty on this one. 
I've been looking in the marketplace for like weeks to find this thing. The only downside that came in with a LED retrofit. Let's take this thing off. Don't break the bulb. It's only for testing. Uh, this is the LED retrofit. I had to do a little fix on it. This thing was completely loose and the wires came off, so. I did nothing on uh, 10 minus and 10 plus volts, so I put it in LED minus a plus 70 volts, so turn it over it. This thing is super bright. I'm gonna find a housing for it and uh, turn it into a work lamp. It's freaking great. So, yeah. There's a little damage because it has been opened the wrong way many times. You have to pull it up and over. Otherwise, it gets stuck here and breaks the corner. It already happened one time. So, yeah, I made a little bracket. This thing was completely empty without the retrofit. So, I had to make a new hanger with some random bits of hardware. It's just metal wire. The way I make it nice and round is using a bottle. That's the same size as the lamp. I kind of press it around it really hard. So it's nice and snug. This bottle's the same size as an SOX lamp. It's a little toasty already. How about in the back? Okay, that's pretty cool in the back, so. Doesn't need a ceramic fitting, maybe. Yeah, for testing, this seems to work pretty well. Really simple, just just a ballast and a bulb with their own starter. I showed when I unscrewed maybe. It's warm so I have to be careful so it doesn't. And there can you see that's that's the starter. It's, it's the same type of little tube as a fluorescent lamp. You get a little blue blink. And then it starts up. Yeah. A ballast is cold still. But it was only about five minutes, so yeah, it's not that warm. This one is mm, I think for this one. If you need to work in the cold, get yourself an halogen. Oh these things are nice and warm. <laughs> five hundred watts and you have like a hand warmer, you know. Very nice. Anyways, have a good day.